Turn the sled on its side, so we got it here, and then you'll take some water and dump water into where you took the clutch bolt or the retaining bolt for the clutch out from and just fill it up with water. It creates a, a hydraulic effect when you put the uh, bolt in, helping push the clutch back. You're really supposed to use this by hand because it's better for your puller and the clutch and all that fun type of stuff. But I like using the air gun. Especially when using the water because it drives it in faster so it helps with the uh, ramp up the or decrease the linkage of the water. There you go. Clutch is broke loose. couple weeks now to get this clutch off without turning on its side and doing this but I finally got enough of the rest of it assembled to the point where I could tip it on its side and do this and yeah came right off so we got it back up on the lift and not on its side anymore so you can see the clutch is free it comes right out it's for the ones that have been on there a long time that really helps um, I'd put PV Blast there and I'd put WD-40 in there, all kinds of stuff while I was sitting like this on the lift just trying to get the clutch off so I could replace the uh, oil pump and gear drive down in there. Yeah. And the minute I was able to take it off the lift and put it on its side and add some water, it came right off. 